welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Brianna. And I. Or Brie for short. Either way. I think I might be going by Brie here. So. <laughs> so it's been a while since we all last talked, chatted, however you want to call it. And I will say that that's why it's been a while. <laughs> it's been like over a month. It's been a month, I think. I think. Mm, I will figure out the time somewhere around here, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's been around that time. And I will be saying uh, last month, oh my god, it's been crazy. Two classes, which is not as bad, but it can get you. But two classes, I have my business going, I'm a crocheting business, which is going rather kind of slow, I would think. I'm getting a lot of visitors, but I've been trying to bring it up a notch. Which that will be my next step to do. But I'll probably tell you that a little more. But right now... Oh, yeah. It is now the next month, February, woo -hoo. <laughs> and I don't know, it's more like, I can't say it's relaxing, but the only reason why I cannot say it's more relaxing, because it's like, mm, medium, I have one class this month, or, is it this month? No, okay, it's this month and a couple more weeks after. And then I'll have my hand back to do classes again, so. Before I go on to my majors. Which is advanced, which is advertising <laughs> and graphic design. So that is what I am going for today. I can switch my hands around because I'm holding my phone so high up to see my face without being like this or something. <laughs> but yeah. And I am actually here right now in my bed. Working with a hat. We kind of hold it up right now. It's still being kind of worked on. A black beanie. Which I think it's going to be so cool. So everything right now. It does not look like a beanie. It kind of does but it really looks more like a square. Which I'm still working on. But it has this cool like rib pattern. I think you cannot tell what it is so i'll be flipping around my camera to show you that now okay so here it is right here now as you can see without being directly to me you can see all this kind of print it's like a knit print it's very cool even though I'm not knitting this because I am crocheting it, it still looks like it. And of course, I have to switch to another ball of yarn, so it's been there. But it's gonna be like this on both sides. So I have this kind of neat little feel texture to it. And it's, it's gonna look amazing when it's done. And then we're gonna put it together. It's either, oh my god, so I'm gonna black. Black and gets on everything. Oof. <laughs> it's either going this way or I think it's going this way, I believe. And then I keep it wrong. I don't remember how it went because I made this one hat before and I haven't went back to this one since I had so many other orders, so So it's been a little bit. But I think this is gonna be so cool. And I have other projects that is apparently on my floor if you can see that. A little bit in the corner, way over there. <laughs> it's another project, like a blanket project. I don't know, you can actually see it right now. Oh, yes, you can. Okay. It's a little messy on my floor. A little bit, you know. But that's another project, which is my, it's a blanket, which I will show you guys that. Probably later sometime in this video. I think I just want to do this type of video where it's like, Showing off my crocheting stuff because this is probably why we're doing this video of relaxing. I don't know if I really do want to talk or something. I don't know yet. <laughs> it's just knowing whatever kind of this is, but 
So, I mean, look at this pattern. Oop, out of focus. There you are. <laughs> look at that pattern. Like, seriously, it's very cool. It's kind of very neat. It's a little way, you know? It's very nice. I love it a lot. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna flip you guys back around again. Uh, let's see here. That's okay. <laughs> Alright, so now that we are flipped back around with our video. I'm yawning a lot. I've been really tired, like, so much. I'm gonna do homework, I'm gonna do other stuff. Like, oh my god, it's my bed. My bed, my bed, I'm just feeling silver. I don't know why I was saying like that, but it was. Yeah, that's how I've been, like, feeling in a while, you know? I mean, I got done with my homework today, so that's on a roll. I start a new classes tomorrow. That's gonna be fun. Especially that's gonna be math, so. I know, yeah, how that's gonna work out, but. We'll see where that's going to go. And then now I'm trying to figure out this pattern, which it's been in my stash for some time because I, I don't know, you know, I've just been working on other stuff, thinking of other things. I should know this was on my list of putting out there anyway, so yeah. I really want to do that. <laughs> but as a person that does that, I cannot exactly count my rows. I kind of lack them out. I mean, I do what I do. I estimate it. This is why I write everything down. I write down what row I'm on and everything else. So it makes it work so much easier. Especially when you're trying to figure out the row and you're like, you lost your train of thought. And you come back and like, oh yeah, check off this one, say so in this one. Or we minimal it and go from there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just rambling on my stuff, so I'm still trying to figure out doing and what. Of course, I'm going to be doing something else, which I might show that in this video too, which since I'm going to show off that a blanket design I have that I showed you guys on the floor earlier, I think I'm going to show you that other idea I have for the blanket, which I think I need, it's like, I need to start it soon. But of course, it's not March yet, so yeah. I'll tell you guys more about that. 
main episode. So I'm just gonna do this for a while and we'll see how far we get. This whole thing, which as you can see here, it's already finished being a cool knit, knit like but it's crocheted um beanie design. Okay, see that? See all these little ridges here? It's gonna look so good as a beanie. And it got done to my 45, so it's gonna be looking like this. And all you have to do is fold it like that. And then we're gonna bunch it at the top. It's kind of like a slouchy beanie. We're gonna fold up the edges and be kind of more tight fitting or something like this. More like an, a small adult. I didn't make a large one because I didn't know how it would fit. I am breathing kind of weird <laughs> but yeah which I think this is gonna look so good so yeah. this will be finished here soon which is probably gonna be on my website which is I'm gonna do do this link here and down below so please check out my website to buy your own beanie here soon which I hope will be coming out really soon so now, since that is out of the way, thankfully, or almost out of the way, it's enough out of the way to uh, be talking about my other two things that I have. And yes, I do have this blanket. I love it. And my other stuff is good or fuzzy. And my other stuff too. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is... Okay, I have two blankets here. <laughs> two different distinct blankets. So I have this blanket, and I have this blanket, which is kind of small at the moment. So with this blanket, I am just doing squares, which are, they're like six and three fourths um, inches, probably. <laughs> I can say they're like a six by six. If they curl up like this, it's more like a six by six. If they're more edged out like this, which is they're blocked, which is kind of like where it holds down, you know, put your pins in all four corners then here here to stretch it out like it flat instead of curled up like this in like six and three fourths maybe i don't know how to tell the measuring tape all i know is a six it's past a half it's almost seven but not even close but really to be estimated mounting it's around six by six so these are the two that are not blocked yet. And as I said before, blocking is where you take your four corners, you pin them, you know, like really flat. And either you put water in here on these four corners, wherever you set it, like I do on a cardboard, 
and leave it there overnight and it should dry in the morning or you can steam it which i had never done that before and i probably won't yet so i have two that are not blocked and then i have one that is blocked it's been blocked anyway so yeah as you can see here it's kind of like those ones so yeah and then i have this uh this will be like an eight by square i would think eight one two three four yeah eight <laughs> eight because it's conjoined four by four squares and then you join it together again so this is the boop <laughs> this is the blanket pattern that i thought of for this whole thing thing in this turquoise, this lavender, and this gray. I think it looks so good together. Ooh, this is gonna be a cute little blanket because of these little bubbles. They're called bubbles, not bubbles. <laughs> these little bubbles of heart on them. So this is how it's gonna be, and it's gonna be staggered and what. This is like a eight panel one, like two panels of that has eight across. Two rows that has eight cross here, four of them so far. I know I need to add more, either going up or going down. You know, going up or down. I know I'm gonna go across more. I think I'm gonna go across, and then I'll rise up more. I think that's how I'm gonna play it out, but we'll see how that goes. I think I'll do another two panels like this, and then scheme it up as one. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I don't know yet, but. I love the outcome of this, and it folds really good actually, really not, it folds really good on how it lays, and you can fold it again, and it lays really nicely. But this is a pattern that I've been, this is like my free time pattern I've been working on, which I love, which I think with all these colors is going to be so pretty and so well done. Okay, so now this blanket. Which is a little bit more a yearly blanket because this is a temperature blanket. Which I'll be taking the weather temperatures at the highest temperatures and putting out the blanket. Now, something to know about this blanket before we even look at it. This is from last year. Not this year at all. This is from last year. So I'm using last year's blanket to make this year's temperature blanket together. Because I'm like, okay. I'm not going to restart it again and try to figure out these random colors and everything else at a point. So I am just going to make a blanket, make the same blank, I'm going to use that same blanket thing and keep adding into it. Which, as you can see here, it, it's been worked, it has been worked on for the past two months, probably. Because I use white to know the month. So this is from January. And then there's February, as you can see here. So this is from last series of two months, which I'm gonna continue this in March here soon, which I'm gonna finish up whichever March days I have done and then do it, or I'm just gonna go with March and just go with what I have. I don't know yet though. I might just do that, just go with March, but I just started one day in March, so. Mm -hmm. But that's my thinking process. It's white and white here, so that's my thinking process on it. And it's a really good length set of blankets for if I do open it up, which I am. Let's see if I can do this all with one hand now. <laughs> because I'm doing this all with my hand. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like. <laughs> it's a really good size length Whoa. blanket. Let's see if you can. Okay, that's maybe how far I can get through my screen. But I can see here, it's a really good length blanket, like a cuddling size blanket. And of course, these blankets are gonna go go out long ways because of the months. So of course, we have thirty one, we have twenty eight, and keep going, keep going. So this is gonna be a giant blanket. I try to do it in the skinny stitches as possible. Like, whoa, sorry, camera, <laughs> camera hitting. So skinny stitches as possible, which to me is going to be like this moss stitching. 
should be kind of skinny and thin. We just do one, skip one, do one, skip one. You know, that type of blue. But I think these colors going to look really great. And then I have other colors too. Besides with these ones and there's a green. There's going to be yellow in here. There's going to be purple in here. And then we'll have red, like pink. And uh, I think that's all the color, other colors I have in here. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like really thinking here. <laughs> I think I have like seven to nine colors for these temperatures because I'm in, a, I'm in an area that has different type of climate ranges. You know, the Midwest area. Different climate ranges. I like how this is turning out really so far. Of course, this pattern, the same exact kind of color is going to come out at the very ending of the month. So I think it's cohesive in my way. So yeah, I like this so far. And I think that is going to be all for this type of blog or vlog. Because I am kind of like, I think I'm probably going to maybe work on this now. <laughs> maybe, I don't know yet, but we'll see. I will have to figure that out soon. I might work on that more. And I've, I'm going to sew this together. So I'm going to flip this. So yeah. As I was saying before. I think that was for this vlog being done. So I hope you guys like this vlog today. It's more like relaxing while I crochet. Talk about my stuff and whatnot. I hope it's more like a really good vlog today. Or whichever day you try to watch it. Right now it is Super Bowl day. February 2nd. Do I watch it for a lot? Eh, not as much as I would be like other people are. I'm not like a very hugely sports fan. I mean, I'm gonna not. That might be another for another vlog or something. So. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys are gonna like it. Subscribe. Comment down below. And please, please, please check out my website. Uh, it's just gonna be right here and down below, which is gonna be at www.crochet, C R O C H E T, panda, P A N D A, create, C R E A T E dot com. Check it out. I hope you guys like this video. Bye! <laughs>